Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So today let's finally solve a slightly easier question, convert sorted array into a binary search tree. So we're given an array where every number is sorted in ascending order, and we wanna convert it to a height balanced binary search tree. And by height balanced, they just mean that any subtree uh, has a difference of height of at most one. And the reason they want it to be a height balanced subtree is because, well, given an input array like this, technically we could just make a tree where every single node doesn't have a left child, but it has a right child. So basically it would end up being a linked list, right? And that would be the easy way to do it. But they want it to be an actual balanced binary search tree similar to the one that they have drawn over here, right? So since they want it to be balanced, notice how they how we chose a zero to be our root. Why did we do that? Well, zero is the middle value, right? And what that means is this these values will go in the left subtree like we have over here. And these values will go in the right subtree like we have over here. And so notice if we choose zero to be our node and these are the values we wanna go in our left subtree, it's a recursive definition, isn't it? Like now our job is to take this smaller sorted array and create a, search, a binary search tree with them, right? So we can solve this problem pretty easily using recursion. Let, let me show you how. So we start with the same input array with five elements. We will put a left pointer here and a right pointer here. This is gonna tell us the uh, subarray, uh, the, basically the elements that we're using to create a tree. Then we're gonna find the midpoint, right? We can, we can do that with our left and right pointers and we'll find that this is the midpoint. What are we gonna do? We're gonna remove this element or basically not consider it anymore because we're gonna create a node from it, right? So zero is going to be our node. Next, I'm going to create the, with these elements, a left subtree for our root node. So what I have to do is get rid of this mid and move this right pointer to the position to the left of mid, right? So then we can actually use this subarray. And using now these two pointers, let's recompute the mid. Does it really matter whether we choose this or this? It doesn't. So let's just put our mid to be at this node. So now three is gonna be the root of our subtree, our left subtree. And once again, we're gonna update our pointers now, right? So we know that we don't really have any more elements to the right to for this subtree. So we're gonna take our right pointer and shift it to the left and create a left subtree from this single element, right? And so since this is basically the base case, right? Left and right are together meaning mid is also going to be in this position, we know that the left child of this, of negative three is going to be negative 10. In reality, our algorithm is going to have a different base case. Now we're gonna continue for this negative 10. Let's see if we can have a left subtree for it. We know there's not any elements over here, but we're still gonna try. We're gonna try and move our right pointer over here. Now this is the condition that we know that we've done something wrong, right? Our left pointer, is somehow greater than our right pointer, right? Our left pointer should not be to the right of our right pointer. So this is basically the base case, meaning we're gonna end up returning null. So meaning the left and right child of this are gonna be null, right? This is a leaf node. So now that we've created nodes with these elements, let me not forget to actually connect this. So now that we've created this subtree, we're gonna return and the root node zero is gonna know that this is what its left subtree is. But we have another job left to do. We have to create a right subtree for our root node. So with our right pointer still remaining at this value, right, our rightmost boundary, and since mid was initially here, we're gonna take a left pointer and put it over here. So meaning for this subarray, we wanna create a subtree. And from our left and right pointer, we're gonna compute the mid. It doesn't really matter where we put it since we have two elements. Let's just put mid to be at nine. So nine is gonna be our new mid. So we're gonna create a node from that mid value. So let's create a node from nine. 
and now nine is no longer considered right but does nine have a right subtree well well there aren't any values to the right of it right so we know that in our code itself we're going to recognize that by saying our left pointer is somehow greater than right meaning you know the left pointer would be shifted here but we don't have to worry about that in the picture we know that we do have some left elements right so what we're going to do is take our right pointer and then shift it over here so now this is the subarray we're looking at because our left pointer is also here so mid so the mid value is now going to be computed to be at this index right so what we're doing now is for nine since we're looking at elements to the left of nine we are creating the left subtree for nine so five is going to be a node in the left subtree and that makes sense and the reason is because of course five is less than nine so it's going to go in the left subtree and conveniently for us our input array was in sorted order right if you forgot our input array was in sorted order so if we have a five and a nine if five is to the left of nine that means this value is going to be less than nine and so with five being removed from consideration with all this messy drawing stuff uh, we don't have to consider any more elements in our input array this is the solution or this is at least one height balanced tree that we created recursively using our input array and when you look at what they had in their output it's actually the exact same so with all of that in mind, the code actually becomes pretty easy. So we're given a single parameter of nums and we want to return a tree node, right? So we're given a list. We want to convert it to a tree. What I'm going to do is actually create a helper function nested inside of our original function. And I'm going to pass in two parameters to it, left and right. So that's going to tell us what portion of the input nums we're actually considering or what we're trying to convert into a tree. The reason we don't have to pass nums into our helper function is because since this function is nested in the outer function, helper will have access to nums regardless. And so for our helper function, it is recursive. So the first thing we want to do is handle the base case. If left ever happens to be greater than right, that means we can return. I'll just return null. And otherwise, we can actually handle our recursive call. So what are we going to do? Just like in the picture, I'm going to compute mid first. So taking our left and right pointers and dividing by two. In Python, the double uh, divide basically means it's integer division, which makes sense because we're computing m to be the index. So now we're going to take this value nums at index mid and create a tree node from it. Right, so we're going to create a tree node with this value. And I'm just going to put it in a variable called root. So next, we want to compute the left subtree of root. So how are we going to do that? Well, we can do a, another recursive call, right? We can call helper. But what are we going to pass in for the left and right pointers? Well, since this is the left subtree, the left pointer is going to stay the same, but the right pointer is going to be mid minus one we only want to look at all of the elements to the left of mid and we can do basically the exact same thing except opposite for our right subtree so for our left pointer we're actually going to do mid plus one because we want all elements to the right of our mid value the right pointer though is going to stay the exact same and with this we have created our tree so the only thing for us to do is return the root and basically we've done all the work inside of this helper function now all we have to do is call the helper function and we'll pass in the left and right pointers which are going to be zero for left and the length of our input array minus one for the right pointer and now we just have to return the value that this function is going to return itself which is going to be the root node so now let's run the code and as you can see it's pretty dang efficient which is what we wanted this is recursive we are going through every single value in nums once so the time complexity is o of n the memory complexity is o of log n because log n is going to be the height of our tree because we know in this case for sure that this tree is going to be balanced right so i hope this was helpful i hope you learned something if it was please like and subscribe it supports the channel a lot and i'll hopefully see you pretty soon